Welcome to Startup Health TV. I'm Logan Plaster, Editor-in-Chief at Startup Health, and I'm here with a health innovation update with Josh Stein, President and Co-Founder at Adhere Tech. Josh, thanks for taking a few minutes with me today. Thank you, Logan. Happy to be here. So uh, Adhere Tech is the maker of a smart pill bottle that helps people remember to take their pills and make sure they don't miss a dose, which I know for millions of people has both uh, really critical health and cost ramifications. Um, and I know that Adhere Tech has the tech side and also a really strong medication adherence data side, which I'm excited to get, get into. Um, and uh, so just excited to have that conversation with you today, Josh. Yeah, so, so in terms of the problem, um, I don't think the majority of people fully pre appreciate how big a deal medication adherence is, the simple fact of missing a dose. Um, in a recent clinical trial, I saw in your uh, materials that uh, you were able to increase um, the average dose of a particular um, group of patients by one dose per week. I think it was your, your Cornell trial, right? And uh, could we start by just talking about why numbers that can seem small one dose a week to someone like me who maybe has never been on a life critical drug? Um, why those numbers are so important and just kind of medication adherence, um, how you think about those numbers more broadly. Yeah, absolutely. So one of uh, so medication non-adherence is basically the sort of fancy industry term for patients not taking their medications as prescribed. Um, one of the really neat things about tackling this problem, and I guess let me just address the problem. Um, you know, many folks say that medication non-adherence is the largest problem in healthcare. Um, the CDC attributes $300 billion in increased medical costs each year, billion with a B, uh, to medication non-adherence. Um, one of the neat things about tackling this problem is that everyone in healthcare benefits when you improve adherence. So ultimately, patients, they have better health outcomes because they're taking these medications as prescribed. Um, then if you look at all other entities in healthcare, um, you know, payers, providers, they have uh, less costly interventions that they have to deliver to patients because patients are taking their meds. Um, pharma companies, they keep patients on the drugs longer. Um, so really every single party benefits when you uh, improve medication adherence. And- um, uh, real, real, real quick, help us understand that 300 billion uh, expense. What are some of the big drivers of that? Yeah, so you can really like fill in any disease state in the example I'm about to give. but. If you think, if you're on a drug for you know, X and you're not taking those meds, then the sort of negative effects of that disease continue to affect the patient. And then they have to go into the hospital or get some sort of expensive surgery or treatment. Whereas if you treated the issue when it was you know, much smaller before it progressed, you'd ultimately be able to save significant costs. And I, I don't mean to talk too much about the cost. This really is about improving outcomes for the patient, treating issues before they become really significant. Yeah, but that piece that it's both sides of that coin is an important piece of this conversation. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's medication and medication non-adherence, huge issue across the board, 300 billion. So let's talk about Adhere Tech, your company. Um, you created this, this wireless smart pill bottle. It alerts you. Let's talk, talk me through the technology itself. Yeah, absolutely. So um, at Adhere Tech, we are an adherence services company. And what we do is we partner with large healthcare companies, most often pharma companies. Pharma companies sponsor programs where patients can get our devices and services free. So always, always free for patients. And the way our system works is if you're uh, a patient on certain medications, um, you are able to get your medication in an Adhere Tech bottle from the pharmacy at no additional charge. This bottle has technology inside of it, the same wireless technology that's in your cell phone we built right into a bottle. You don't need a cell phone to use our solution. All that means is that this bottle, no matter where you are around the globe, if you're a patient, it's sending Adhere Tech streams of data. Our system analyzes the data from every single patient in real time. And based on that analysis, we send targeted interventions to the patient or caregiver directly to their phone, text message or phone call. So let me give you an example. Um, you know, if a patient misses a dose, our system might send an automated message, something simple like a reminder to take their dose. But if we notice more high risk behaviors, our system can send more targeted interventions, such as asking a patient why they missed their dose. 
or we're also connected with the software systems at specialty pharmacies and other HCPs so that we can send push alerts to nurses that are already on staff or doctors that are already on staff at those systems to let them know, hey, this patient is experiencing some sort of significant issue. You should probably manually reach out to them. So in short, we have automated systems, and then we also are integrated with um, the software that uh, already exists at different uh, pharmacies. So dual component that is optional as well. And what this allows us to do is patients miss fewer doses, get better care when they need it for issues like side effects, because we're mm -hmm. able to capture that early. And ultimately, patients stay on the medication longer, have better outcomes, and every party in the value chain wins. Awesome. Uh, what is the bottle actually measuring? Obviously, you could potentially, you know, was it picked up? Was it opened? Was a pill uh, taken out? What do you measure? Yeah, so we have a number of different sensors inside of the bottle. Uh, we measure both the open and close of the cap. We measure the orientation of the bottle. We have sensors that measure the contents and then a bunch of other uh, mm -hmm. metrics as well, such as, um, you know, how much battery life the bottle has left, how strong is the connectivity. Um, basically, the bottle lasts for a full year on a single charge and it is rechargeable, but we just want to uh, monitor everything to make sure everything's working properly, plus monitoring the patient's behavior. And all that happens in an automated fashion well, without the patient having to do anything. They just use it like a normal bottle. They don't have to think about anything else. Got it. That is such a critical uh, element to introducing new tech in an area where we were used to a low tech life. You know, it's, it's got to be seamless, right? Exactly. That's like our number one uh, design philosophy as a company, making everything seamless and easy for the patient. If you ask patients to do something new in order to simply use your device, you'll lose a lot of uh, patients that will say, you know what, this seems like a little too complex for me. So we wanted to build something that is completely foolproof, just fits in right into their normal life. And that's what we've done. Awesome. So obviously we're in 2020. This is not a typical year for, for healthcare or for the world. So how did COVID-19 impact um, Adhere Tech one, and also how the world and your clients think about medication non-adherence? Did it, did it change that conversation? Yeah. Um, so obviously, you know, all companies have been affected by COVID. Um, what I can say is for us, uh, there have only, you know, there, there was some difficulty like any companies face, but we've actually had more opportunities, thankfully, uh, post COVID. Um, let me sort of explain why. So first of all, in terms of, you know, the difficulties that all companies face, you can't go into the office anymore. So thankfully, we've already had remote working capabilities built into our company since day one. So each and every one of our, uh, the folks at our company can now work from home and it was a relatively seamless transition. So we were really thankful for that. Um, as for the business side, the reason why we've had more opportunities is because, you know, we are essentially a remote monitoring tool. And when patients can't go into doctors or sometimes are too scared to go into doctors, you especially need to maintain that connection mm -hmm. with the healthcare provider and the patient. And that's exactly what we do at AdhereTech. Mm -hmm. So in an era when patients maybe are home more and not able to see doctors, we excel um, even more so than we were doing before. There's that, and then also from a business perspective, you know, our pharma customers, they still need ways to reach doctors and to care for their patients. Um, ha the days of having sales teams go into the doctor's offices are certainly reduced because of COVID. So we are a tool that pharma can now say, hey, we can use this remote monitoring tool to reach doctors and patients in ways that, you know, in the sort of new normal, um, maybe are much less possible. So it's been kind of beneficial for us. Break that down for me. I understand the reduction in direct pharma to doctor sales. How does Adhere Tech play a role in that? Oh, I guess um, not so much in the doctor sales perspective, but if you're a pharma company, you still have very massive budgets that you have to allocate to different areas in order to you know, get more patients on this drug. Mm -hmm. So when you are less able to go to the doctor's office, you are more able to say what other technologies will allow me to a reach more patients. And again, we're sort of that funnel from the pharmacy when a patient fills, we can get more patients on and keep them on longer. So we do have a very similar value prop for the pharma company to say, you'll get more patients on the drugs and patients that are on these drugs will stay on longer because of the continued support. Very similar value prop to a pharma company 
previously going to the doctor's office to increase sales. So um, gotcha. I'm always gotcha. hesitant to talk about the sales increase because that's not what motivates us as a company. It's increasing outcomes, keeping yeah. patients on the drugs longer and sort of a natural outcome uh, or a natural byproduct of keeping patients on a drug longer because of the increased outcomes or improved outcomes are the increased sales. That isn't what motivates us, but it is sort of the business reason for what we do. Right. But if a company creates strong outcomes and it has a really healthy business model, it means more of that service for free for more people. Exactly. You're not, you're not so, running a charity. You're right. You know, and it allows the beauty of this business model is it at the end of the day allows us to give this technology that's clinically proven to patients for free. And that's, that's what keeps us waking up every day doing this. Uh, speaking of clinically proven, we I mentioned at the top of uh, our conversation about a, a recent clinical trial that you did at Weill Cornell there in New York um, using uh, AdhereTech with uh, HIV medications. Could you talk me through that and the success of that trial? Absolutely. So I'll, I'll give sort of a background about all the data we have, and I'll talk specifically about the uniqueness of the Weill Cornell trial. So um, something that's really important to, hear, to adhere tech is to have clinically proven data so that when we go in to our uh, customers or prospective customers, we're not just saying, hey, trust us, this works. We're saying, here are published reports from some of the biggest healthcare companies in the world, from peer-reviewed journals, showing how effective this is. And if you go to our website, adheretech.com, and click on the evidence tab at the top, you'll see published reports from many of the largest private healthcare, or, uh, healthcare companies in the world and um, other peer-reviewed journals, et cetera, showing that we keep patients on the drugs longer, and while they're on it, they refill more frequently. All of that translates into significantly improved adherence metrics, time and time again for different drugs, disease states, demographics, et cetera. So one of uh, the neat things about this Wild Cornell trial that, uh, of which the data was recently released is typically to show our results we work with the pharmacy or peer reviewed journal to look at you know, either claims data or patient refill data to show the test group of patients using AdhereTech versus the control group of patients not using AdhereTech. Look how much more often they're refilling the meds and staying on the drugs. So that's how we published every other report. But with this wild Cornell data, one of the neat things we did was, you know, still there was a test group of patients using AdhereTech, control group of patients not using AdhereTech but we actually took blood draws from these HIV positive patients to measure the actual medication level in the patient's blood, mm. both before they started using it here tech and after for the ones that used it. And then before, if they didn't use it to the same time period, if they were still never using it here tech, so the test of control. Um, to our knowledge, this is the first study, first adherence study ever to corroborate its data with actual medication level in the patient's blood. And one of the really neat things that we found, we were really blown away by these results, is that patients that use, so both patients basically started out in the same suboptimal area of medication level in the patient's blood. So not in the ideal area where the medication level needs to be in order for that medication to be effective. Um, after 12 weeks, which is how long this study uh, lasted, and many different studies last for years, this one was shorter, just based on the needs of the study. Patients using adhere tech their medication level in the blood uh, was increased to the optimal area where the medication needs to be in order for it to be effective. Patients that didn't use adhere tech, they stayed in that suboptimal area. Mm. Um, and again, all this is corroborated by blood draws. And what it translates into, what you alluded to before, is basically one additional dose of medication was taken by adhere tech patients each week. So if you extrapolate that over a year, what you see is about 52 additional doses which means one to two additional fills of medication per patient per year for patients using AdhereTech, which is the same uh, increased fill data that we see in all of our other studies. But again, this was the first one to actually measure the patient's blood, which is really incredible. Which is important because you're not just saying that they took the drug, you're actually proving the health outcome. Is that why it's so unique? Yeah, so well, I guess um, just to be like really careful with my wording here, um, we didn't measure outcomes for this exact study. This study was only measuring the medication level in the patient's blood. And then you can make a really quick, you know, connecting of the dots to, are they in the optimal medication level in the blood? Yes, they do have better outcomes. Okay. But we didn't actually measure outcomes as part of this study. Okay. But um, one of the neat things is that this is actually measuring, not only is the patient refilling more 
and staying on this drug longer. They're actually ingesting the drug more often, and that's what it needs to be to be effective. So we're, we're just always very careful with the language we use and the claims we make. But that's what this level, uh, what th that's what this study measured. So, you know, you said it's kind of a landmark clinical trial in, ter uh, in your area. Um, what were some of the some, some of the hurdles? What were some of the challenges that you faced putting this together? Obviously, for a lot of healthcare startups or just health tech companies, clinical trials are a real hurdle. Um, what did you What did you learn in the process? Yeah, so I would say the um, you know, thankfully, like we were. So this study actually originated from a grant in that we at Here Tech won in 2013. Wow. The study kicked off in 2015 concluded in about 2018 and then there was you know a year of reviewing the data so wow. i'd say one really long hurdle is how long it takes to actually run these trials so um but thankfully we had a really committed team um at wild cornell um led by uh dr roy gulick who's um literally one of the top hiv researchers on the planet um he believed in our technology from the onset and thankfully that's what the data showed um, is that is that is that common? Is that timeline common? Because that's that's so prohibitive for so many startups. Depending on the type of study you want to run, um, for a clinical trial, yes, that timeline is common. Um, what we um, also do, if you want to really have uh, reduced timelines, is we also work with our customers who use us commercially to say, "Hey, over the past year, just publish the results that you've seen." Um, those are not peer reviewed publications, but they are, you know, basically they do go through the same level of scrutiny, just not actually a peer review process. Um, that does shorten the timelines a lot. We have data like that too, but um, yeah, clinical trials or peer reviewed publications, they take a really, really, really long time. So get started early. Unfortunately, that's the, the best advice I can give. This is shifting gears slightly, but I'd be, I would love to hear your thoughts on um, what trends in telepharmacy uh, kind of excites you. Obviously, you're, you're keyed into this. You're you're part of this puzzle piece between the remote patient and the and the pharmaceutical company, and you've got all of these telepharmacy, these um, virtual pharmacy companies, pharmacy tech companies popping up. Um, a kind of where does adhere tech fit into that um, that pill pack equation? You know that sort of situation, and just what kind of excites you about pharmacy tech? Yeah, so um, I would say healthcare, if you look at all industries, healthcare is typically one of the last industries to adopt any new technology, uh, for better or worse. I mean, obviously technology can be used to help a lot of patients, but in healthcare especially, you have to be so, so sure that you know the tech is extremely reliable and accurate before it's adopted. So we understand why it is slower. Um, you know, Right now, we're sort of in the midst of what you might have seen in other industries 10, 20 years ago in terms of adopting technology in healthcare. Um, when, we, when I started at Here Tech with my co-founders uh, back in uh, 2011, 2012, it, it was really difficult to even get meetings with these healthcare companies because uh, you know, technology adoption just really wasn't on their radar. Now, every company is doing it. And... Um, you know, thankfully, we're extremely well positioned because we're one of the very few companies um, that is an adherence company that has real, reliable published data, not just us saying that we have it, but published data showing that this thing's effective. So, um, you know, we're really, really well positioned. But, um, you know, having technology the way that it's transformed other industries, um, helping patients in healthcare, making care more scalable, um, you know, using different types of software and data analytics tools to um, understand what patterns of behavior patients might have to help them or sort of identify issues before they become serious. Um, all of those are the things that excite me most about what Adhere Tech's doing and sort of the pharmacy, pharmacy tech space in general. Very nice, Josh. Well, that's the time that we have. If someone wants to um, partner with you or learn more about Adhere Tech, uh, what do you suggest that they do? Yeah, go to our website, uh, adheretech.com. You'll be able to contact us there. But uh, we're always happy to hear from folks, uh, especially folks at large companies that want to deliver this technology to their patients. Awesome, Josh. Well, we appreciate uh, what you're doing. I appreciate your um, long-term vision. You've been at this a long time and uh, your uh, tenacity is paying off. And so keep up the good work. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for joining me. You too. Thanks a lot, Logan.